Hello. Hello. I'm Joel. I'm Laura. And welcome to our another spinny video. Ooh. It is week four of the corned beef and cabbage challenge for the month of March. Uh, we have three winners so far. We're about to get a fourth. And so somebody's going to win something today. Plus, we're going to pick the last restaurant that we're going to eat some corned beef and cabbage. You hear? Corned beef and cabbage. I'm excited. She has, she has if they say. still have corned beef and cabbage, because it is, you know, no longer St. Patty's Day. We checked uh, the restaurants and, uh, you know, made sure that they've at least got a Reuben. As we've said before, that's going to be our substitute just in case. But there are at least a couple of them that say they still got it, but we won't know for sure until Friday when we actually do it. Yeah. So, ready to spin? I am. Are All you right. ready for us to spin? Are you? Are you? Are you? Let's go. What? Congratulations, uh, Heather. <laughs> I was like, I was waiting for you to say it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Congratulations, Heather. Yes. Um, so we will be contacting you in your PMs, your DMs, whatever your BMs. I don't know. We'll be giving you some sort of contact to request in the M's an address to send you something in your is in your M's and your massages. Mm -hmm. Your massages. And uh, I'm super excited about the Olympic. She's a fan. I'm a huge fan of the Olympic Tavern. Have I had it with you before? I don't yes. remember. I have. The Olympic Tavern? Yeah. Yes. We uh, used them frequently, I feel like, during the um, pandemic, the especially. Original. They were, like, the easiest place to order from. Um, they did, like, an amazing job. Like, lots of thumbs up during that. I know that they were struggling because they had some servers and stuff uh, that, where they had to shut down a few times. But they're still strong. And, yeah. I just... I'm a big fan of the Olympic Tavern. So we're going to be throwing them some more business, seeing how they hold up. And uh, yeah, so keep your fingers crossed that it's an actual corned beef and cabbage because we'd like to keep it consistent. But if not, remember, Reuben's on the table. And uh, I'll never say no to a Reuben. Me either. Unless I'm already full. Like right now, I would say no to a Reuben because we just had a large meal. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So we will see you again on Friday. Woohoo! We're the Newly Deads. Yes. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>